Hi, my name is Between the Shadows, and welcome to my YouTube channel. This particular video is going to show you guys how to play some solitary and how I like to play it. It's actually one of my favorite pastimes and a great way to pass time. I'm going to start by clicking on the start menu here, going to the search bar, and typing in part of the word solitary. And here it is. Gosh, I wish I could deal some cards that fast. Ooh, I'd be rich. Alright, so we're going to start by going to the menu, clicking on game, and seeing some of the options that we have within here. Notice the hint for any of you beginners out there. That should be the first move that we'll make. We'll just go ahead and make that move now. Pop up shows up and it just helps you along with more hints if you need them. And you can turn these off and off. I don't use any hints, well I don't anymore, but I'll show you guys some options that are available. Well here's the options bar. And within here we have an option to draw certain cards, or a certain amount of cards, which is one or three. And that refers to this deck you see here in the left hand side. And if I click this deck, then it's either going to draw one or three cards. Three cards is for more of a challenge. Not really the most challenge because after a while you get in such a groove that it just becomes second nature. But it is fun to play on three cards. It has the sounds and it also allows you to show tip. And that's what I referred to earlier. I'm just going to uncheck this because I don't want any tips. And the scoring system, self-explanatory, you can either have no score standard scoring which is what I normally play on as well as Vegas scoring which is like money involved it, it counts it up as currency and we have a timed game so let's go ahead and click OK and I want to change the appearance so say for instance I wanna have I guess the classic deck and have my background be brown I'll click OK and it'll make those changes for me you know, I actually don't really like brown too much, so I'm going to go with the red. There we go. Okay. The object of the game is to get all of these cards here, and also here within this deck, here. And they go in ascending order. So, for instance, I have an Ace of Club here. That's what we start with. And I want to have a Two of Club next then a three of club, then a four of club, all the way up until a king of club. And I do that for each of the suits, club, heart, diamond, spade, or whatever order I choose to put them in. I'm going to go ahead and draw a card and see what we have here. What kind of moves can we make? And for those who don't know, making moves in solitaire is pretty simple and easy. Basically, say for instance, if we have a card and it's black. The card under it must be red, but it must also go in descending order, on the contrary of the cards here in the upper portion of the screen. They need to go in decreasing order. For instance, I have a, a red 10 here, so what do I have that will fit the bill? Looks like this 9 here, so I'm going to give it a try. Hey, it works! Not only that, it flipped over this card. Notice these invisible cards that I have here? I need to somehow find out how to flip those over and hey, that's how it works. I don't really see too much of any moves here, so I'm going to go ahead and draw another card. At least until I see another move. And we finally have another move. Unless I missed one.
and see now that we have went through the whole deck we have to just click here and it starts them over now had that been on three this is when matters become more difficult and I'll show you why so we'll go to new game and we'll quit and start a new game probably should have went to the options first and I'm gonna turn this into a draw three game first things first we analyze what we have and any moves that we can do just a few moves here it's not really a lot but maybe it can get some of these cards to flip over for me and see now they're coming in threes so for instance I have a 10 here and that matches up with the jack And you can only use the first card that appears. So for instance, this jack can be placed where this queen is. But see, I don't have a black seven. That's the only way I can use this card as of right now. And maybe I'll get another chance to use it later, but we'll see how the cards fall. And there we go, here's the situation. I just moved that 8 there and I have a second card here. And not only that, I also get to use my third card. And all the rest of the cards are now in a single layer. As if I was only drawing one card. And can I use it in this situation? Maybe. However, I don't really see a move that can work out. And notice, I just moved the king here because that's what you need to start a new run and have those descending. And as you can see now, I have went through the whole deck. So I started over. And then they display again in threes. And you just keep doing this and try to flip these cards over. And try not to make one run too long. That's a helpful tip. It, be, it causes some problems later on in the game. Not all of the time, but it's a good rule of thumb. And within this software, I'm going to show you some of the help that you can get. And I like this menu because it actually tells you how to play the game. And if you have any problems, you can always go to the help menu. Always remember that. And I'm going to go ahead and finish this game. And thanks for watching.